монголчуудууд өртнөөс мал зөргөө хайрлан хамгаалж өсгөдөг тийм хүмүүс ээ. Нэг 1600 толгой мал бий. Өвнөөс одоо 400 толгой яваа. Аа 700 гаруй хоньо байна. Би бол ерөнхийдөө ямаа зөргөө бол хоньохоо нэг 30 хувьд нь бодож өсгөдөг. Тэрнээс дээш ер нь өсгөх сонирхол байгаа. Яагаад гэвэл хонь ямааны бас тэнцвэртэй байдлыг нь хадгалах юм тулд тэгж одоо зөксөлдөг нь би болгож малддаг. So cashmere is a natural fit. Um, brands also have to deal with reputational risk, and there are, as people know, there are some special interest groups that are creating negative press for cashmere. Whether that's true or not, the bottom line is a bad story for cashmere anywhere is a bad story for cashmere in Mongolia. We define together what were the priorities for collective action. So to promote the brand of Mongolian Kashmir, um, what do we need to work together? And so there's four things that we came up with. One is um, we need to come up with a consensus on sustainability. What do we mean? Bring common definitions and as well common indicators about what to measure to show that we are creating change. That's one thing. The second thing is um, everyone wants to work also on incentives for herders how we can best support the herders in their journey towards more sustainable Kashmir. The third thing is market access, which is a priority for everyone. Um, and by market access, we mean um, promoting quality instead of quantity, as well as traceability and connecting with the, with the international market. So and the fourth priority that we identified during the meeting was also the need to work on capacity building. If you want to create change, you need to support herders on that journey and you also need to work with um, capacity building for everyone across the board, for the government, for the Wool and Kashmir Association and others. So that's what we're going to explore in the next weeks and how we can define that national mechanism so that everyone in an inclusive and transparent way can work together to accelerate uh, the current efforts in the sector. And there was a distinct um, agreement amongst all the NGOs and the government and the companies that yes, if we really are to bring Mongolia forward and to tackle climate change and sustainability issues and commercial issues, we have to work together and we need a platform to do that. do it alone as individual companies or as individual projects or as even as individual government departments it's going to take this multi-stakeholder approach so representing caring here I feel very lucky and privileged to be part of this group discussing how we can share lessons learned um, share best practice and get very focused on tangible ways to move forward to improve the industry I think it, for, for, the, for caring and for the brands of caring as a, as a company we're very um, focused on not only having access to responsible and sustainable materials for our own products and our own supply chains, but also for leveraging our presence as a, as a well-known company to generate change more broadly. So what I want to get out of this is, is sort of seeing a pathway forward for caring to be able to access over the long, long, long term, high quality, beautiful cashmere that comes with the verified sustainability credentials from Mongolia. 
but also want to see that the industry at, at large thrives because it will drive positive outcomes at a global level. It will drive positive outcomes for herders, for the Mongolian economy, for climate change, for biodiversity, so for all of us. So it, it, it's sort of that, that level of both what we need as terms of resources for a company and materials, but also how through doing that more responsibly we can leverage outcomes that go much broader than a single company. Today is a really good step for us clarifying what that is. What, what's the value proposition of Mongolian Kashmir and how can we show that value proposition? With that in mind, in terms of the perspective from the, the national level, we've gone to the field, we've gone down to the Zoom level, and we've been talking with herders and cooperatives and really trying to understand what's happening on the ground. It's a fantastic place, the landscapes are beautiful, and there's clearly uh, major opportunities here to really be producing sustainable livestock and therefore sustainable cashmere. But we've also understood that the challenges are great, they're complex, it's not simple, there's variation between different areas of Mongolia, there's variations between herders, but I think what really impressed me was the capability, the understanding of the herders, of the local government on the issues and their desire to uh, improve their practices. And what really confirmed to me was the need for this platform at the national level and to, to have a space, to have a space where these herders can have their voice heard. These herders are living in isolated areas, isolated gurs where they sleep. And what we can do is help link them to these discussions happening at the national level that are going to affect their lives. And they were very excited about this too. And we've been exploring how to do this through linkages to the local governments, all the way up to the ministries, and of course with the brands themselves. And having gone on mission with these brands, with H&M and discussing you know traceability and how we can link these herders to the companies i think there's huge potential here but it's beyond the commercial potential of traceability it's really getting in place uh, the whole system with the enabling environment the policies the land use plans bringing in the government as well as the private sector and again i think the platform will help us do that Kashmir is at the center of the mongolian economy and so there's a big potential to work on Kashmir for poverty reduction, for economic growth, etc. It's really uh, when you see those landscapes and those steps and you know, Kashmir is at the center of it. So I think there's a big potential to promote um, the brands uh, Mongolia and Mongolian Kashmir. And for that, we need to do a little tweak in how the industry is functioning at the moment and bring a bit more sustainability into the equation. Before I trip, you know, I receive a lot of questions. It's uh, sustainable cashmere is possible. I see the, I think that right now the sustainable cashmere is not ready, but I see the potential. When the standard be ready, when the common platform be ready, I, I believe it will be happen. I'm not sure you know when, but I believe it will be happen. Манай хорша нь 13 онд үүсгэн байгуулагдсан. Тэгээд хамгийн гол зорилго маань нэг үл малаас гарч байгаа бүтээгдэхүүнийг өөрсдөө брэнд бүтээгдэхүүн болгож гадаадд болон дотоодтой юу борлуулаад малчтын орлогыг нэмэгдүүлэх. Бас нэг зорилго нь болохоор нөгөө бичээрийн менежментийн төлөвлөгөө хоршоон дээр яаж хийсэн. А тэгээд тэрнийг болохоор хоршооны бүх гишүүдийг байлгаад одоо өвлийн газар нь хаашаа зуныг нь хаашаа бүх тэгээд малчтыг асууцаад асуулга асууж байгаа тэгээд бичээрийн менежментийн төлөвлөгөө гаргаад одоо бичээрийг ямар ч дөрөө төлөвгөөр ашиглаж хэрэгжиж байгаа. Хоршоо болж ажилласнаар хүмүүс маань өөрсдөө бие биентэйгээ бие биенээсээ суралцаж бас бие биенээсээ мэдээлэл авч тэгээд хамтарч ажиллаж байгаа. Бидний гол төхөөд бол ноолуур а малчид одоо энэ ноолуура үнтэй зарснаар марштын орлого нэмэгдэж байна. А хэрвээ ингээд ноолуур хямдхан ордоо үртэг шингээгдэж ингэж гаргахгүй бол малчир малчид одоо бас нэг өрхийн амжиргаа сулрах ядуурлын төвшин нэмэгдэх тийм хандлага үсэт байгаа. Тэгээд хамтарч ажилласны хүшнэ бид нэр энэ ноолуурын гарцыг нэмэгдүүлэх чанарын асуудал дээр илүү сайн анхаарч ажиллаж байгаа.
Well, huge potential, yeah. I mean, the story of you know, the nomadic history and current lifestyle of the herders, the landscape, um, you know, the way that they are so deeply connected to their animals is all feeds straight into that sustainability story. What brands need is some kind of um, common view on it and a set of indicators so that they can report on it with a lot of confidence and have a very clear, transparent, incredible story. But I, I see huge potential.